Hey, it's Scott Jansen, and I'm here today to show you how to turn no clients into yes clients automatically and make them ask you for the session. As a matter of fact, when working with clients that can either say yes or no to your service and product, it actually all comes down to human psychology. Simply, we push away from something unless there is a clear promise to move away from pain to pleasure. In other words, it's easier to say no than actually run the risk of actually being ripped off. In other words, it's easy to avoid an offer if the promise of success is too weak. Whatever way you look at it, if you are finding clients are still saying no to your therapy sessions, NLP sessions, or even hypnosis sessions, you have a choice to make. You can either accept it and possibly have a few clients here or there say yes to what you offer, or you can work out what it takes to turn no clients into yes clients automatically and reinvent your entire business model. As an example, if you were in a month able to speak to 100 people about what you do as a therapist, what would the numbers be of yes people, no people, and what I call sideline people? Now the sideline people, these are the people that need to think about your offer before they say yes or no. Well, as a matter of fact, I would estimate that 10% of people would say yes automatically. Maybe they know who you are. Maybe they've been referred. They know your service and how it works and their pain is intense enough that they just want help. Then I would roughly say 30% of people would cultivate the no people. No matter what you do, what you say or how you do it, they will instantly say no and they will always say no. And to be honest, these are the people I just didn't bother with. As famous marketing expert Jack Trout said, it's hard to change the mind of people who say no. This leaves us with roughly 60% of the sideline people. These are people that need a better nudge towards yes. They say they need some convincing before they say yes, and these are the people you should be working with, in that you need to master the art of turning these sideline people into saying yes. Why? Because they're the biggest percentage of people and sales that you're leaving on the table. But this is what happens. We get so frustrated when people say no instantly. We spend all our time worrying about these people. Whereas now we know the no people accumulate a small number of your customers. Just let them go and focus on treating your yes people like kings and queens and your sideliners into kings and queens with a better nudge. So the question remains, how do we turn sideliners into yes people? Well, by a nudge, I mean a better promise of what you do, a better promise of how your service would help take their pain away and fill their desires. I've always said the better your promise, the better your business. So what is your promise? If you're a hypnotist, what does your service promise to do? Does it promise to relax your clients so you can talk directly to their unconscious mind? Does it promise to rid them of any habit? Maybe you promise to destroy addictions on the spot. And if so, I'll return with this statement. So what? Let me explain. If your promise is just a generic outcome promise of your service, why should a client choose you? If your promise is just one of destroying an addiction, there are millions of other therapists offering the exact same thing. Our industry has competition and a hell of a lot of it. And if your promise is like everybody else's, your business will just get lost in the noise. What makes a client choose you over your competition is a unique, individual, and specific promise that no one else is promising. And yeah, I get it. This can be tough. But without a unique promise, your business or you will not be unique. So to convert sideliners into yes people, we need a specific, unique, and powerful promise. So let's understand your sideliners. So who are these people? I think one of the most frustrating things is waiting for people to either say yes or no. Once you start to apply these ideas, you will find not only do your yes people grow as a percentage, but also your no people will grow as a percentage. But most importantly, the sideliners will shrink, meaning more people will either say yes or no as a decision. And as a business owner, this is what I wanted. I didn't want to wait. I didn't want to chase people like this as this shows desperation. I wanted either a yes or a no so I could move on. And it's exactly what crafting a big, specific, believable, and unique promise will do for you. 
Let your competition deal with the sideliners while you work with the yes people who actually want what you have. I have narrowed down these sideliners into four specific categories of why they don't say yes immediately. Number one is the warrior. Number two is the skeptic. Number three is the procrastinator. And lastly, number four is the I've been there, done it. Let's look at all four to understand the mind of your sideline customers. The warrior. These people, as the name suggests, worry about details and instead of seeing the true value of what you offer, instead, worry about relevant and non-relevant factors. In some cases, they are the buyers who change their mind often and get so frustrated when making the decision, they stick with the excuse of, well, I'm not sure it'll work for me. Number two is the skeptic. This is the customer who will listen to what you have to offer. And instead of thinking about yes or no, they want to prove to you why they know your service won't work for them. In hypnosis, we call them resistant clients. Clients that would rather argue than be open-minded. And unfortunately, these are the customers that will be more likely to say no to you. And even if they say yes, they will make the session with you hard and frustrated. Then we have the procrastinator. The procrastinator are customers who will put the session with you at the bottom of their list. They will tell you how much they need it and how bad their pain is, but they will need constant follow-up. And in most cases, they'll just let you down. I find these people to be the biggest no-shows. They will always have an excuse. Lastly, we have the been there, done it. This is a customer who's very similar to the skeptic, but became a skeptic after a previous session with another therapist that didn't meet their expectations. These people have built a wall of skepticism and resistance, and unless your promise is unique than the previous therapist, they will tend to assume your service will achieve the same results of failure. So let's craft your unique and big difference. While it may seem that all four categories may need four big differences to persuade them, the truth is they actually don't. In fact, when working with signliners, we still may not get them to buy immediately. Sometimes they do and sometimes they don't. Instead, we want our unique difference to stick inside the mind and stay there. This is known as positioning your message. To position your message correctly, you must change your big difference from one that is generic to one that stands out in the crowd. This message alone about your business and what you do and about your service is enough for any of your sideline customers to at least hear what you have to say before they reject it. And this is the biggest fight you need to win. Once you master the art of positioning your business, your service and who you are and your unique difference inside the mind of not just your sideliners, but also your yes people, your customers will begin to see the true value of your business. And this is how you become labeled as the expert. So what is your big difference? What makes you unique? What makes you stand out from the competition? Well, to make it easy, there are seven ways you can make your service stand out from your competition. Now, to make it even easier, I'll reference these to hypnosis as I'm a hypnotherapist so I can make my point clear. So let's begin. Number one, your style. If you have your own style of doing therapy, this is your big difference. When I was a therapist many years ago and seeing clients, my competition was all using script and I wasn't. So at the time, this was my big difference. So my message was one of stating this to be a fact and why not using scripts will provide a better result for my clients. Number two is your niche. Who is your ideal customer? Pick one and become the expert in it. I became the expert stop smoking guy as I found this the majority of my clients that I attracted. So I ran with this ideal customer and became the expert stop smoking therapist. Sure, I worked with other clients, but I went out of my way to mention I was the perfect stop smoking therapist. Number three is price. Now look, I don't recommend this, but I have seen it work. If you are the most expensive therapist in the market, this is your big difference. You just have to prove why. If you are the cheapest, you will have to convince people why they should choose you over somebody else. Because we know a lower price may equal a lower standard. Number four is experience. If you have 15, 25 or so many years of experience in the industry, use this. If you look at big brand marketing, they will often use their time and experience in any industry as their big difference. Versatility. If you are a mobile therapist and a contributor client, this is your big difference. I used this towards the end of my career and only offered Skype sessions. 
Yes, I had to convince people why, but using Skype offered more benefits to my clients than anything else. So it was a no brainer for them. Number six is your guarantee. I've created several blogs about this. So below this video, I'll leave a direct link so you can read the blog for yourself. And this is known as your perfect persuasive guarantee. Number seven, and lastly is your offer. This is the most important and essentially sums up all other six. Your product, your service, you and your offer need to be different full stop. If you offer the same service, price and outcome guarantee as your competition, you will get lost in the noise of our industry, become unique in everything you do and what you say about your business. Normal gets forgotten, unique gets remembered.